gonna show you how you could make once human this game to start working uh, properly on your PC. Mine had an issue, it was running fine, but then once I updated my Windows, it stopped working. So what you need to do right now is that it's simple. What you need to do is just delete several things. Uh, you need to delete the patch folder. This is what worked for me. You need to delete the patch folder and you also need to delete the net is um, folder. So uh, the way you're going to do this uh, is to delete the patch folder um, so you could allow the game to reinstall the patches. You need to go on Steam library. Uh, find the, where the game is located or just go to where the game is located on steam um, click on manage um, uh, Click on manage and go to the drop down here and go on local files So mine I installed it on an external hard drive. I'm gonna show you also how I managed to delete uh, The files that I wanted to delete on, on, on the external hard drive So the folder that you're supposed to delete is this documents folder documents folder as you can see inside there are patches uh there's there are patch files so these are not necessary if your game is crashing on the, or, or it's loading or it's just stuck on the loading screen so you need to delete this um document folder so if you're failing to delete this do uh, this documents folder in the game in the game folder in the game folder that is you need just to go on um this pc or uh, your pc that is locate your local disk click left click and go to properties once you go to properties, go to tools. Once you go to tools, you can click this check box here. So it checks, it scans your hard drive for errors. If there are errors, if literally, if the hard drive is on read only, basically it, it does have that error sometimes. You cannot play the game, you cannot load the game. So it's important to scan for any errors. If it finds errors, just scan and fix. It, that usually helps. So if the uh, contents in your hard drive are readable, it means the game is gonna be it's going to be able to launch. So once you have deleted the document folder and the game uh, isn't uh, playing, um, don't worry. Uh, you also need to delete this file. Basically, you don't let the game uh, just also be able to delete this file. So what I want you to do is click the Windows um, icon, the Windows icon here, and then press R. You need to learn, learn. Uh, it's 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 a um, it's a uh, it's an application tool so you need to run this we just hold windows button and r so what you need to write there is um a percent symbol app data percent symbol so it's going to open the app data um app data roaming page so app data roaming page like this one it's going to open this or you could just select roaming here so once you have selected roaming here you need to locate where you need to locate where uh the um, you need to locate where the folder is uh the folder that has um the files for yeah net is you need to look at this folder net is folder which has uh the files for um once human so once you click that you need to delete this this folder mp it's uh for for net for for once human so once you did this uh you could easily launch your game you could easily launch your game and you could start playing and um if i i, I personally believe that would work because it kind of worked for me but if still that doesn't work you could um learn steam as an administrator learn steam as an administrator you could learn steam as an administrator go here go to properties now you can place view more go to properties um capability and learn steam as administrator i'm running my steam as administrator and also if still that doesn't work if still that doesn't work but i believe the first method is surely gonna work if you stack on loading skin that's gonna help you if that doesn't work guys uh what you need to do is that um you also have to update your graphic uh drivers I'm not saying if it's incompatible with your PC like mine. I'm show you my AMD driver software. The problem that I have is that if I update to the latest version, if I update to the latest version, my computer crashes. If I update to the latest version, my computer the um my computer uh, doesn't perform well because this is incompatible with mine. I, I mine uh, with my computer my model it runs well with the 2022 one. It doesn't run well with the 2024 one. So 
uh, you need to downgrade to the compatible drivers that you have. Um, you need to turn to turn to the compatible drivers that you know your PC is gonna work well with, and also you can go to your NVIDIA graphic drivers here. Um, if you have NVIDIA, that is, and you need to check um if there are uh, drivers available. You could select the lady drivers, the game lady drivers. So you can go to home, see this option. There's drivers. You go to this side, um, the right hand side. And you check uh, the game lady drivers through here. They're just telling me that I can check for updates. It's already installed of um, the updates that are the latest updates. Uh, for me, I would say that deleting the documents folder and deleting the net is net is of uh, uh folder folder as well. That is that has the m m pay file files you need to delete that that will basically fix your game but if it doesn't fix your game if you're still failing provided that maybe your hard drive has an issue just scan it for this click more options properties and tools and check if your hard drive has a scan and fix that will surely fix the issue if still your game isn't planning uh, they are things that hold games back. Uh, you need to have or install runtime components for your game. So I'll go to my download folder. I'll go to complex files. There is this Visual C++ all time installer, which I had already installed. So these are the files here. I just click this part icon and it installs all the runtime components. Because when you update your computer, what happens is that it removes some of the things that might help you um may help your 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 game to learn so just search virtual c plus plus attributes all time all in one installer click the first link take up website uh you could click uh here download and you can click the server where you want to uh, the download to happen so it will actually uh, start downloading i'm gonna cancel this because i already have have it installed you need to install this uh download and also uh you need to install directx 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 online installer directx online installer you need to also learn this it might happen that your game doesn't have the proper run time uh settings or the proper run time uh files so that basically causes it to crash thank you if you enjoyed my video you could subscribe to the channel and uh, be back for more.